Hey everybody, it's September and that means it's back to school time. So I'm Mr. Marmaru with Keller Williams Morristown and I'm here to give you five home buying tips when buying a home. Number one, get an awesome realtor. Mr. Marmaru, I know you're an awesome teacher. Are you a great realtor as well? Thank you, you are correct. I am a great realtor. And here's what makes up a great realtor. You want someone that you trust, that's gonna work hard for you, that's gonna care about you, and that ultimately is a joy to be around. You're gonna have a lot of conversations, um, a lot of texts, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls. You want the person that you're gonna be working with to be someone who's enjoyable. So, you know, those are the things to look for when choosing a realtor. Sheesh! Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. All right, tip number two, get a pre-approval. Can't really start looking for homes and going into people's homes until you are pre-approved. This way you know exactly how much you have the ability to spend on a new home. If you get a pre-approval but you don't buy a house right away, is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Is that a serious question? No. No, it wasn't. All right, but you do bring up a good point because pre-approvals usually last 90 days. However, you know, to renew that pre-approval usually shouldn't be an issue. Uh, especially if you have a good lender. And having a good lender is just as equally as important as having a good realtor. Um, the first thing when you put in offers that seller's agents are gonna ask, they're gonna ask, who's, who's the lender? Do you have a relationship with them? And you know they don't want the deal to fall apart. They wanna be able to communicate. So if you can't get the lender on the phone, if they're not reputable, they're least likely to accept their offer. It doesn't mean they won't accept an offer, but you know they wanna do business with people who they're familiar with or who have a good reputation. You know, Getting that pre-approval from a good, local, reputable lender is really important. Did I ask? Ooh! My Chromebook is dead. Can I go charge it in the back? No, put your hand down. All right, so for tip number three, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention. Monitor your credit, whether that's prior to the pre-approval or after, you always wanna have an idea of what's going on with your credit score because that could really affect not only your interest on the loan, your PMI on the loan, or just the approval of the loan altogether. So really monitor your credit. Let's go! All right, tip number four. Now that you have a realtor and your finances are all situated, you're ready to start looking for a home. But before you do that, you really have to narrow down where you want to live. Now, some people will say, oh, I want to live in one of these two counties. Well, do you really want to live anywhere in those two counties? Really narrow down, pick the city, take a Saturday and drive around and go to open houses and look at neighborhoods. Saturdays are for the boys. Yeah, Saturdays could be for that too, but you could also you know, really drive around these neighborhoods, especially if you're not familiar with the area, and get a feel for where you want to live. My foot hurts. Can I go to the nurse? No, no you can't. But I'm gonna wrap this up soon. Tip number five, have vision. Just because the house you're looking at isn't perfect today, doesn't mean it can't be perfect tomorrow. The houses that you see may not have everything that you want in the house right away. Bat and cage in the backyard. Basement I could live in. Palm trees. Palm trees. All right, yeah, those are all great, but again, you know, what may not be a perfect home today could be a perfect home down the line. So just have vision, be open-minded. You don't have to live in the first home that you look at and put an offer in the first home that you look at, but you know, you also don't want to spend months and months and months looking at countless homes, not finding that perfect one. You may never find that perfect one. We'll work hard to find it for you, but be open-minded and look at things like, oh, no, I don't really like that wallpaper, but you know what? We could take that wallpaper down. Or uh, I don't really like this carpet, that's okay. We could change the carpet, put it on different floors. You know, it's stuff like that where if you have an open mind and have some vision, then you, know, you may be able to get the home that you're looking for a lot sooner. Mr. M, I wasn't paying attention. I don't want to buy a house, but if I know someone who does, can I tell them about you? Absolutely, just because you're not looking to buy a home doesn't mean you can't refer people who are. So if you know somebody looking to buy, sell, or invest, have them give me a call. I would love to talk with them and answer any questions. Better yet, you give me their contact information and I'll be happy to reach out and just introduce myself and make myself available for when they are ready to have that conversation. So thanks for asking that. And uh, 
Take your hoodie off. Good looking guy. I don't know why he's wearing a hoodie. All right, thanks again, everybody. Again, please reach out. I'd be happy to talk with you and thanks for watching.